Hello and welcome to YHTV's new show, Meditation and Beyond. I'm Christina Souza Ma, your host for this program. <laughs> My goodness, I have such a wonderful slate of shows that is uh, that we're ramping up for 2014. And here we are, just to give you a little taste right now of each of our shows. Now, Meditation and Beyond, you know, it, again, it was the catch-all within Trinity of Life to be covering uh, many forms of meditation. But there are so many modalities. There is such a vast number of ways to meditate, from walking meditations to Zen meditation, Buddhist meditations, uh, yoga meditations, mantra it goes on and on. So we felt that truly it deserved its own time and its own space here on YHTV. Of course, like anything, the more we learn, the less we seem to know. Um, I have just had such a thrill uh, during my years uh, immersed in health and wellness, immersed in being a body worker, of really dappling in the different forms of meditation. And Knowing that in different moments of my life, I tended to venture towards certain forms, much more so. There was a time when uh, Zen meditation was very powerful in my life, really grounding me, really helping me to focus. Um, and then there were times where uh, the walking meditation was very powerful for me because to walk outside, to walk along the beach and really smell the air and take it in and be, feel the earth beneath my feet and feel the energies of the universe all around me uh, to honor that and to be in gratitude as I walked was very important, especially when I was in Hawaii, like on the big island. So different forms of meditation will help us in different ways. And I hear so often when I speak to people of meditation, how they have shared with me that, oh, they find it so difficult to meditate. They find it a struggle. And then I go and ask them, uh, follow up by asking them, what what form of meditation have you tried? Oh, where well, you sit with your eyes closed and, you know, you're breathing. And for some people that doesn't work. For some people, it, that is not uh, a form that is aligned with them at that time of their life. So meditation being a very important part of my life and of many individuals, I really felt it important to, to bring it all around and to be able to um, create a, a level of awareness of the different forms that are out there and the different wonderful teachers that we have all around us. Um, this past year on Trinity of Life, uh, we've had uh, individuals such as uh, Stephen Sadlier, who <laughs> is uh, one of the forerunners on Shaktipat meditation, powerful, energetic. I mean, you can feel the shifts happening as you're listening to him. And he makes it seem so very simple and so easy to, to partake and, and be part of. And then there is uh, our wonderful uh, Himalayan Siddha master, Yogmata, who is one of the first uh, females to be acknowledged uh, by the powers that be in India uh, to be one of the Himalayan Siddha Masters. Uh, she is recognized throughout India as such. Um, we are always honored to be with her and speak with her. She travels here with Pilot Baba that many people might know, who is um, uh, one of uh, India's most sought after uh, uh, masters. And uh, of course, our beloved Bhavani Lorraine Nelson, that teaches us these incredible chants and mantras. You know, what are, what are mantras, you know, and chants? It's, it's not about religion. It is about a way of life, and it is about aligning um, the energies all around us. Well, who would have thought that, right? Anytime you, you think of chanting, you think of, of uh, being in an organized religion somewhere, 
Uh, but Bhavani Lorraine Nelson really has shown us such beautiful ways to connect with ourselves, within ourselves, to connect with the universe. Uh, these are just some of the individuals that we've had on Trinity of Life um, uh, and uh, here on YHTV this past year. And to be a little more specific, uh, exploring the magic of mantra, which was episode 38 on Trinity of Life with Bhavani Lorraine Nelson, I invite you to have a listen and enjoy uh, that uh, session that I had with her. And uh, episode 18 with Himalayan meditation uh, master, Siddha master, uh, Yogmata, when she was here at Los Angeles um, doing a uh, two-day workshop uh, for individuals um, who wanted to learn more about that technique of meditation and grounding with uh, the earth and the people and reconnecting. So those are just a few that we've had on Trinity of Life uh, to mention uh, to you. And, you know, as, as we release these shows, just know that um, though they're, most of them will be pre-recorded, you will still be able to watch them on YHTV or through YouTube or just download the audio from iTunes as a podcast and listen to it whenever it's convenient. Um, the shows that we're going to uh, share with you will be much shorter than Trinity of Life. Um, it will be 15 to 30 minutes long so that it's a, a more convenient time for people and more direct where um, hopefully it will be the times where these experts and speakers will actually be able to share with you a exercise or a lesson that more practical so that you may be able to experience it for yourself. Now that is our goal, that is our vision here at YHTV, uh, but of course we would continuously love to hear your feedback on what it is you need, what it, what you are looking for or are in search of. And we will definitely uh, do our best to bring it forward to you. So again, during these shows, you can comment on our page just by scrolling down on the screen um, and typing into the comment box and we will get back to you. Or um, if you prefer, you can just give us a call on our feedback line, which is 818-LET'S-TALK. 818-LET'S-TALK. In case you're driving or just have a thought that came into your mind, just uh, key it into your phone, your, your wonderful uh, uh, new or old <laughs> I, uh, Android or iPhone or whatever it might be that you're using. And just give us a call, leave us a message, and make sure you leave us your contact number or your contact information so we can get back to you. Um, and that you know that we've gotten your message. Again, it's 818-LET'S-TALK. 818-LET'S-TALK. We invite you to continue to join us for Meditation and Beyond, and look forward also to our other shows that we are starting in 2014. And we're just giving you a taste of this right now, this year, before the end of the year. My name is Christina Suzuma, again, for Yoga Hub TV, we all invite you to continue to come play in our Zen Garden box. Until next time, namaste. YHTV's Trinity of Life. Come join me, Christina Suzama, as I journey to find the many modalities that support individuals, from children to adults to elders, with topics ranging from health and wellness, meditation, and inspirational stories. I invite you to visit yogahub.tv every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Sometimes if you hand someone a Kleenex, it kind of means stop. You know, it kind of means, okay, dry your eyes. Okay, we can have enough of that. Now talk about it, mm, right? Mm, it can yes. have that response if perhaps a parental element ever did that to you. Yes, you know, yes. here's a Kleenex, dry your eyes, don't show anyone. And so we, we want to make sure in our container, in our Rogerian container of you know what's best, um, we want to make sure we don't change the experience. And the experience of crying is the experience of crying. We don't want to shift that.